Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy Weiss. Welcome to InspiredInsider.com, where I interview inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. I'm going to tell you about my personal inspiration, what drives and motivates me, and one of the inspirations behind this site. Instead of telling you, I'm going to show you a few short clips of the stories that have influenced me to push forward in life and business. These are things that I replay over and over in my head to help me overcome big challenges. In my interviews, I strive to get guests to tell their stories that have influenced them the most. Here's one of mine. I want to introduce to you my grandfather. He's a Holocaust survivor. Listen at the end. That first grandson he mentions is me. December the 5th, 1923. Oh, and uh, living in the fields for about, um, you know, about two weeks, you know, and until we ventured out to, to the city itself. Um, little, my sisters and brothers and I had to, and they started shooting in the middle as we were working, uh, walking this, uh, in a certain place. They started shooting, so we were hiding out and they burned out, you know, buildings, you know, until it quieted down. Then we, so it was pretty. They uh, ruined the city. Was all the Jews mark. from uh, everybody had to leave their homes, and they uh, ordered whoever they find at home, the home that would be killed, and you have to congregate in all the in the fields, and the fo like a football. What do they call it? Football no, field. They killed the mother with the children. And so my brother went ourselves. And uh, that was the first camp we went to March. March. Sadistic treatment by, by the couples. Oh, yeah. There was, uh, they used to hit you, you know, when you did something or whatever, you know. They used to, uh, you have to lay down and they hit you with the whip, you know. But they before that, we didn't think that we will survive. You simply... Yeah, we simply went along, you know, with every day's work and tried the best to keep, stay, stay afloat alive, you know, something like that. A few escapes, so they punished, uh, the, mostly we had to come and uh, they took everybody out of the barracks and uh, every, uh, they shot a few people. They took like a random, you know, a few from every town. Then somebody escaped. So that was a few escapes, and uh, they hung a few people for that, you know, for to punish, the, you know, to, that the people get scared and they wouldn't escape. There were a few escapes. The only thing what uh, did uh, make me happy was when uh, my first grandson was born, and I thought of a rejuvenated the family. That was about the happiness. I think grandchildren can make you very happy. Oh, no. Because you see that the, the generations then do. Oh, that. sure. Love it very much. Yeah. Is there a lesson that you think the world should learn? from 
you feel people should learn from, from this tragedy? Oh, definitely. Definitely people should learn how to love people, not to hate. Um, and, uh,